Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. I am the Origin Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we made our way to the third floor inside of the White Crystal area. Um, we actually walked through the door directly in front of us, like 10 tiles in front of us, and it is also a one-way ticket. It is. I was extremely frustrated. I wanted to take the long route back. On the on the way there, I um, fought a bunch of s butterflies, and then right before this, by right before the staircase, I I had it. I had it up to full. I used fleeing skill with our buckle, and instead of teleporting me to the second floor like I expected, it teleported me to the fourth floor, to the staircase that I wanted to get to. And now we know one-way tickets are not always one-way tickets. Uh, one-way tickets. If you if you traverse through a floor, the fleeing teleports you directly back to the last staircase you used. And that is so so good, so good. And um, well, we're gonna we're gonna continue our exploration of this area now. Because we left off here. Um, I took a little bit of a break and I ate a little bit and I noticed just how dehydrated I was. If you don't remember I did sports and um, I did not actually drink anything besides coffee ever since I, I um, got back and that was a very very bad decision. You know we're supposed to gather a bird talon. I think I know what enemy we get that from. Firebird? Firebird. And accompanied by two petaloids. This might be troublesome. Ladies and gents, we have a situation. Crush is not fast enough. We'll boost and normal attack. Crush actually only works after their sleeper, so we have to deal with them the hard way. We're gonna have to make it difficult for them. Um, I am scared. I am scared. I will heal everybody. I'm gonna do a true shot against this petaloid. No! Mm. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to scream there, but that all oh, double attack is good. Arbuckle, please attack the right enemy. Oh yeah. I made a misclick with Chuckles. This guy decreases our defense and um, He's probably going to attack. I could have gotten wrecked by this fight, and I'm glad I didn't. The dual strike proc was funny. You saw that damage? He didn't do. He didn't. He he didn't even get to two to hit. Okay, 45 with decreased def defense. I boosted Keenan's damage, and he did 190, and he would have done a second attack as well. He would have done a second attack as well. We don't get the bird talon, sadly. Encountered a new monster, a fire bird. Look at that bird. We just fought so I can enter this door. Monster. Monster room, not good. We cannot deal with a mammoth. We have to find a passage that has no mammoth. Because getting locked into a mammoth encounter is not the way to go. I can't deal with a mammoth. I can't. I'll try it, but I can't right now. Um, as a rule, I will only... I will only go through the door um, if I just went into an encounter. I will only enter a door if I was just in an, in an encounter, because this could kill me. Not the actual enemies I face, but the, um, well, what this causes, because it causes a mammoth fight that I cannot escape from, and a mammoth fight I cannot escape from is a mammoth fight I do not want to take. Um, I, and I have no confidence in Arbuckle actually being able to flee from a fight like that. I'll, I'll try that once I get through a door and into a fight next time. But if there is no such next time, um, we're not gonna figure that out anytime soon, and I don't want to fight, try it out against a mammoth. Nice dual strike. I like Keenan's hit percentage on that attack by now. We're gonna get that to level 10. I hope it procs more often at that level, but um, right now it is 
still not superb. Monster. The question is if these are all mammoths. That is the question. I cannot dance around a mammoth like that either. Just because um, if I get into an encounter, like I can do this. I can dance around him like this. But that is playing with fire. That is playing with fire because if we get into an encounter, we can escape. We can escape. But um, it is dangerous. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no no. Yeah, sir. Uh, why? Why are you doing this? Can I take care of this fight in one round? I think I cannot. But I think it's up to me boosting. I don't boost against a mammoth. I know I cannot take on a mammoth right now. So I won't even try. But I might be able to take on this. Da -da 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 Dum. Yes, I can't, was able to get the experience here. Because the next thing is the mammoth taking a step. He is going to be right behind me, I hope. He tricked me. He tricked me. He does not want to let me get by again. I don't know why he behaved like that before. Man, you ass. Hmm. Yellow encounter. Yellow encounter. I'll get through this door. I know there's another mammoth here. Do you know? Let me pass. Uh-oh. He's right next to me. That is one firebird and a preemptive attack. But if I kill this thing... The mammoth is not in the space left and behind me. It is right next to me. And I do not even need to fight here. I don't. Never mind. I maneuvered myself into a corner. How did I do that? Goodbye, Mr. Mammoth. Nice meeting you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let me get by, please. If I ask real nicely? Oh, come on, Mr. Mammoth. You can't be like this. Mammoth, behave. Behave, Mr. Mammoth. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Yep. Oh, that was dumb. I'm waiting for an encounter, so he joins... Ooh. Preemptive. What can I do? I will try. I will try to fight a mammoth right now. Of course, I won't be able to. This guy... Well, we'll make a calculation of how much health he has, and from that point on, I can make a calculation as to how many turns it takes me to beat one, and then I'll know... I, I can make a calculation as to how many turns it... Uh, it will take for him to beat me, and we will know. But I think he can attack into the back row whenever he feels like it, and he one-shots everybody. Okay, let's see. Let's do some calculating. I wanted to... I would like to slow down the game. I only have 39, so I won't waste it. 60. This is going to be a rough calculation. One thirty, two thirty. How much? He has a thousand health. Little more than a thousand health. No, I think it's exactly a thousand health. That that would, that fits. So five turns. Five turns. Hmm. 
That was the first. Four turns remaining. If he defeats one of my main characters, I'm done. We just aggroed him and he hasn't charged up. Every time he charges up, it is a free ability for me to kill him. And I don't think the charge kills everyone. I'm able to heal the charge up, I think. I have an item in my inventory that lets me do exactly that. It was stupid to try and get by the mammoth at, the, at that one possibility. And he let me by to trap me. So that was actually pretty, pretty clever. Let's hope the provocation worked. Because if it didn't, I am... Um, how do you put that? Uh, hosed. Ah, yeah, that's right. He will normally attack this time. Nope. He will normally attack this time, I say. Four more turns. I'll put in everything I have. He did not normally attack. Barricus's multi-hit does more, but I don't have the... Oh. Little above half, and we did... We did about as much damage, so he has 960. He charged up, so uh, everybody defends. Nope. Everybody defends. Let's see what that does. I hope we're fast enough. I haven't tried this yet, even once. I don't know why, but everybody defending against this attack? Uh, well... That doesn't seem so bad. We did aggro him, so parrying is viable. I have a lot of selves left. I don't have a lot of moves with Barracus. I have three more true shots. At that point, I am out. So this might be... I might be in for the long haul. Normal attack on Keenan. That was my main damage dealer. Thank you very much for getting provoked. He can freely attack into the back row and I don't have back guard. Hmm. Yeah, my ma main damage dealer being gone is a slight problem. Slight issue. Slide issue. I healed up, right, with Eric? I used self, right? Yeah. No, why would I defend with you? You can just use parry. You can defend. This seems like a viable strategy. Uh, if Arbuckle gets attacked directly, he's gonna be dead. <clears throat> the Mammoth normal attack is faster than Eric's heal, so one character will die. I assume. They're probably gonna target Chuckles. And if they target Chuckles, I will escape. Charges up again. Oh my god. Let me heal, dude. Turn 8. I mean, I'm almost regenerating mana here. Um... Last time it didn't work, but it does generally work. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna defend from this bull rush. Nice. Oh, God. If I attack with Arbuckle, I don't know how much health he has. Um, since... Since the... Um, Self is slower. I have recovers partial party HP. I will use this right now. Then we don't have any more of that left, which is cruel. Because now I have the boost ready. I will boost. You have a boost almost ready. That boosted Volt is probably gonna get him. Oh, God. 
Another damage dealer down. But we're getting there. We are getting there. Oh, everybody is at full health, and I assume for him to boost up. I think he's gonna boost. And luckily, he is faster as in, in it with attacking than Eric is with healing, so I'm gonna be able to heal his attack up if he so chooses to attack. Which he did, and missed. Yeah, 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 I get it. Everybody missed. Everybody was missed. He is almost dead. I might want to revive Keenan just to get this experience. But no, that's not worth spending a revival on. Let's boost the thunder. If I thunder boost, he's gonna be dead if she gets a turn. Boost it, thunder, boost it, thunder. I wanna see it. Woo! We defeated a mammoth! Jesus. Great Tusk. 700 experience. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Alright. <laughs> Take a guess who leveled up or who got experience. All the characters who are high leveled. Or who are the higher level. Armith and Great Tusk were acquired. I will... Um, now use I don't have uh, warp yeah, I was in this situation in the past I have been in this situation in the past Jesus I will run I will run in what direction do I go I guess the easy route No, I th I think escaping is just the worst idea. Worst idea. Since all the wolves on the fifth floor are alive again, I uh, what is faster, going down to the geomagnetic field or going? Hmm. It might be faster to go down to the geomagnetic field. I do have the uh, the TP left with our buckle, so I will use the stalker and run down there. We're in a good spot. We are in a good spot. And I will pick up another warp wire once I get to Shalega and sell that great tusk. I hope that gives me a good weapon because that was a hell of a fight. Keep in mind that was with a preemptive attack. Yes, we wouldn't have not gotten where we are without that preemptive attack. Nine steps remaining. I'm not going to waste that. But him attacking Keenan right there, oh, that was that was harsh. Him attacking like Arbuckle or or, or Barakus would have been much better. Like even if Barakus had died, Keenan does so much damage. It was a loss. It was a loss. Having Keenan be protected is a very important thing. But I have not been able to fiddle around with front guard and back guard yet. And that is due to me being a moron. And uh, well, you know how it is. You do. You do know how it is. Preemptive might as well. Ah, never mind. We only have Arbuckle who can attack. I like how I still get the preemptive attacks even with Barrack is dead. That still applies. Because that was unlikely to happen. The angry roar. Oh yeah, I was so angry when I made it through that damn door. Okay, let us get to the geomagnetic field. How many gathering and everything usages do I have? I have full. Do I want to? Ugh, if I'm gonna get by that thing, I might as well. Mining, metal horn, metal horn, metal horn, pyroxene, white stone, and pyroxene. Isn't stalker active? I 
Ah, I leveled up the TP regeneration with Chuckles, that's why. I was wondering why she already had 13. I didn't spend four turns do doing stupid stuff. So at um, level, at two points regeneration, that is all almost viable, almost. We'll get that to, I think, ah, I want to level that up some more. Because two points regenerated is not good enough. Getting that to level five would be huge for every volt to be just free. That would be huge. Preemptive lets me probably escape. And that, yes, that was me hitting my microphone with a cup of tea. That has not happened before. Mining, oh. The other thing was gathering. Even though everybody is dead, I can still do that. I don't know why, but I do like it. Monsters, no thanks. I will do all the gathering I... Okay, there you go. I will do all the gathering I can, but still. I mean, I don't really see the see the use. Chopping is good. I guess once you sell a hundred of this, you you get something nice out of it. Like maybe that's one criteria for a certain thing. Like a hundred mugwort. Well, I do not, I, I assume that is not the case, but um, if it were, that would be silly. Nice glorious escape, and we're gonna make it to the geomagnetic field. By the way, Pan Flute Guy is active again, and I give Pan Flute Guy, I gave him a lot of shit in the past. I'm not in this Let's Play maybe, but mainly during Risen 2. I complained a lot about that guy, but really, he's quite the badass. Uh, it's it's cold outside right now, and he dresses up as an Indian every time and plays plays a pan flute with with moving and everything and dancing, and he looks pretty cool. He he looks like a dope guy. So I'm sorry that I gave him shit in the past. I mean, I I'm annoyed by his pan flute getting through my windows, but apart from that, he is he's a he's quite the badass. Oh well, Keft Apothecary. Yeah, Petrification. Petrification is something I'd like to heal with Eric's refreshing skill. Let's revive our people. Revive Keenan. And now we will sell. We will sell, and that great tusk better be good. That better be good. 1,400 large mammoth tusk broke, broken at the root. Tusk charm. Holy. Holy. Give me everything. Give me every last bit you have to offer. I actually gathered quite a lot. But I only unlocked the Tusk Charm. How much is that and what does it do? Tusk Charm is 1,200. One defense and three vitality. Charm made of large fangs harvested from forest monsters. Eh. We're gonna get access to a weapon with that great tusk. I can promise you that. I promise it. What do you say? I de dealt with a... Mo well, nothing. Um... In Radha Hall, what is an uh, an armith? A firebird, armith. Firebird, what do you drop? Three items, and I haven't gotten even one. Charge, blaze, corrode. It, a bird so resistant to fire, they say, that it consumes fire as its sus sustenance. Hmm. So don't attack him with fire. Armith. Bull Rush Charge Great Tusk. He has 1,200 HP. I was wrong. A mammoth whose tusks are so strong that a single strike is enough to fail most warriors. Yeah, I've noticed. I have noticed, good sir. Oh, well. 
We have made it to quite a point. Um, I'm not able to continue my recording session right now because I actually got uh, invited over to a place to play cards and eat a Christmas dinner. And of course, I will um, I will uh, play cards and uh, eat a Christmas dinner. So let us sleep and let us save. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.